Namaste and welcome to my channel. My name is Matt and I'm going to be your yin yoga teacher today. And for today's class, we're going to be focusing on letting go of things you can't control. And that's something I struggled with in my past. And now today what I'm doing when I'm facing a situation or something uh, that I'm unpleased about, I just look at it and tell to myself, can I really do something about this? Can I control this? And if the answer is no, I simply let it go. And this has allowed me to refocus my energy to things that I can control and improve. And it's hard to do, but it is really that simple. When you're facing a situation or something, ask yourself, can I do something about it? Can I control this situation? And if the answer is no, just let it be and move away from it. So today we're going to be doing a yin yoga class focusing on full body deep stretch when we're going to be holding asanas for a little longer than usual and really work, working on feeling what's going on within our body and mind. So for today's class, all you're going to need is a bolster and two blocks. And I'm going to invite you to play with these throughout the asana to figure out what works best for you. So let's just start by settling our mind and body into today's class. So I'm going to invite you to sit up straight, lengthen the crown of your head, make sure your spine is long and straight. And then you can close your eyes and focus on your breathing. It's important to inhale and exhale through the nose. This is where all the receptors connected to our nervous system are. So this is why it's that important. It sends the signal to your body and mind to relax. And then you can bring your attention to your current life and just observe and see if there is anything that you're trying to hold a grip onto or control that you can't control. And if there is, I'm going to invite you to let it vanish through your mind and forget about it. And as you breathe in and out through the nose, and this situation is fading away, I'm going to invite you to bring back your focus to something that you want to work on and put your energy into that would be more beneficial for your current life. And this might be putting more energy into your health, more energy into your sleep schedule, your habits, more energy into your loved ones. It might be moving away from things you can't control to cherishing everything that you can. And this simple concept is so, so hard to master and it took me a long time and I still struggle sometimes with it. But I always bring back myself to these two questions. Can I do something about it? Can I control it? And when it's no, I just simply stop there.
you're ready, you can open your eyes. So I'm going to invite you today to do everything very slowly and feeling what's happening within your body and mind, which is something I really love to do when I do yin yoga, and it helps me to see through my life and what's going on around me. So we're going to start with butterfly position. I'm going to invite you to bring the soles of your feet in front of you like this. And I like to keep a one foot distance between my groin and my heels. And from here, we can take the bolster and just place it on top of our feet, just like this for support. And this is where, like I'm saying, you can play with blocks and the bolster to find what works for you. So we're going to take one big inhale. And on the exhale, and lower ourselves forward onto the bolster. And you can support your forehead with the block. Exactly like I'm doing right now. Allowing your spine to be round. And then finding stillness and letting go of controlling the position. If you get more comfortable, you can move the block away and try to lower yourself to the bolster. And from here, we're just going to explore leaning towards the left side of our body in the butterfly position. So just move the bolster aside like this. And without your right glute coming off the floor, try to see if you can explore leaning towards the left side, just like I'm doing right now. And we can slowly move to the right side, carrying the bolster with us. And then exploring how it feels.
And we can move our hands slowly backwards, raising our upper torso. And coming very slowly all the way up. Just noticing how you feel now. With the opening of your inner thighs and low back in my case today. So when you're ready, I'm gonna invite you to go into saddle pose. So we're just gonna open up our legs exactly like I'm doing, placing the bolster in front of you. This is where you might want to use blocks to support your forehead as we lean forward into the sasana. So from here, we're going to take one big inhale. And on the exhale, we're going to walk our fingertips forward once more. And we're going to bring our forehead to the block, allowing our body to settle into this. And from here, we're just going to slowly move the bolster to the left side. And we're going to lean towards our left leg, just like this. Supporting your forehead once more with the block. And very slowly now we are gonna transition the bolster to the right side. And then lowering ourselves down. 
exactly like I'm doing right now. And on your next exhale, you can start to raise your upper torso all the way back up very slowly to the center. Just taking a moment here to notice how your body feels. Kind of slowly bring the left leg in to a 90 degree angle towards the front of your mat and then we're gonna roll on the left hip and move our right leg to a 90 degree angle towards the back of your mat exactly like I'm doing right now and we're gonna lower ourselves down into deer pose so from here trying to keep in your hips in line forward with your left leg. I'm gonna invite you to just take one big inhale and on the exhale you can start to lower yourself forward bringing your elbows in front of that left shin and using the bolster for support. So you should listen to your body when you do saunas. And when you find your edge, make sure that you don't experience any sharp pains or intense pulling. You want to work your connective tissues and fascia, but you don't want to go overboard and hurt yourself. So be mindful of that. And then readjust and reassess when you do something if it doesn't feel right.
And on your next exhale, we can push through our arms and walk our hands back very slowly, coming all the way up. And then we can bring our right leg forward. We're going to be rolling onto our right hip and just setting ourselves up in deer pose for this side this time. So you want to have your right leg making a 90 degree angle with the front of your mat and then the left one will make a 90 degree angle towards the back. Now we're going to place the bolster in front of us taking one big inhale and on the exhale we're going to walk our hands forward bringing our elbows in front of that chin and then lowering ourselves as we ease into this asana. So as you can see, my right side today is really tight. So I'm gonna take a bit more time to work my way down onto the bolster on this side. And on your next exhale, you can push through your arms very slowly coming all the way up. And then we can roll on our right hip just to move our legs back in front of us for a moment. Just taking a few breaths to relax and come back to neutral within our bodies. And I'm gonna invite you to just turn into all fours 
We're going to be tucking our toes and lifting our hips up and pushing through our arms into downward facing dog. So just wiggle your legs here so that you can feel a nice stretch in your hamstring and calves. And then move around to release your spine and do anything that feels good for you at the moment. And I'm gonna invite you to lower your knees all the way down onto the floor. And this is where we're gonna place the bolster in front of us and go into Sphinx pose. So I'm just gonna invite you to bring your forearms in front of the bolster and lower yourself down, extending your legs back, exactly like I'm doing right now. So you want your elbows to be in line with your shoulders and you can have your palms down on the floor supporting your belly and chest with the bolster. This feels really good for the low back. And from here, you can bend your knees exactly like I'm doing right now. Bring your heels closer to your glutes and then feel the sensation at the bottom of your spine. Noticing if this feels good for you today. And if not, you can bring your legs back down. And then bring the sole of your feet together. I'm going to invite you to open your knees exactly like I'm doing to the outside edges of your mat. Bringing your heels towards your glutes once more. And 
then you can lower your legs back down, bring your knees back in, and leg straight back. And from here, I'm gonna invite you to just move the bolster aside for now, and to flare your elbows out, and to bring your forehead all the way down to the back of your palm. I'm just relaxing your low back here for a little bit. I always find Sphinx bows and its variations to be really soothing to my mind. And from here, I'm gonna invite you to open up your right hip. So bringing that right knee up and then creating a 90 degree angle like this. And then we're just gonna move our upper torso a little bit to the right, bringing our forehead to the back of our palms once more. But you should feel an opening on the left side of your body while you're holding this asana. Feels really good today to do so. So bringing back our attention to the breath and today's intention, which is to let go of the things we can't control. Refocusing our energies and attention to the things that we can control and where we know our energies will actually make an impact and benefit our lives. And when you're ready, you can bring that right leg back in very slowly, moving your upper body back to center. And then we're gonna make our way to the other side. So pulling that left knee up, creating a 90 degree angle. And then we're gonna move our upper body to the left side of our mat and then resting our forehead on the back of our palms allowing the right side of our body to open up this feels really good for me today I used to have a lot of chronic low back pain and ever since I became a yoga teacher and I've been doing yin yoga classes with all of you, I haven't had any issue with my back. Truly amazing that something this simple could fix chronic pain like I had.
And then we can slowly bring our left leg back. Coming back to the center very slowly. And then pushing through our arms to come all the way up onto our knees. Then we're gonna go into wide knee child's pose. So bringing our big toes to touch behind our butt. We're just gonna bring our heels to contact with our glutes just like this. Then we can take one moment here to just relax and settle into this asana. And on your next exhale, you can walk your hands forward, pushing your hips back and bring your forehead to the floor. This feels really good to release the low back after all the movements we just did. And it's a really great asana to connect with your third eye, which is responsible for intuition and connecting with the spiritual world, if you believe in that.
And when you're ready, you can walk your hands backwards very slowly, raising your upper torso. And then bringing your knees back in. And again, it might feel good to just take a little moment here. And from here, we can just bring our knees to the middle of our mat, crossing our ankles and lowering ourselves down onto our glutes. So we're gonna make our way down to the floor very slowly. And from here, I'm just gonna invite you to do a little bit of the windshield wiper motion, which feels really good. Always love to do this one. And from here, we're just gonna go into a recline twist. So I'm gonna invite you to pull your knees in to your chest, just like this. You might wanna take a moment just to hug them here. Again, releasing your low back. From here, we're gonna bring our right hand to the outside edge of our left knee, and then we're gonna lower everything to the right side. From here, we're just gonna try to keep both shoulder blades in contact with the floor. And this is where you can place the bolsters in between your knees for comfort, or a block, if you wish to. And then keeping both shoulder blades facing towards the ceiling and in contact with the floor. We're going to extend our left arm to the left side of our mat and then we're going to look left. Relaxing into the sasana.
can slowly release and bring back your knees to the center. Again, just doing a one chill wiper motion here if you feel like it. And now we're going to pull both knees in again, taking a little moment here. You might want to just rock your hips left to right like this, massaging your low back again. And then bringing the left hand to the outside edge of the right knee and allowing everything to turn onto the left side of your mat. Keeping both shoulder blades in contact with the floor once more and then looking right allowing everything to settle just as it is. And slowly bring our knees back to the center and you might want to grab the bolster if it's nearby and we're gonna place it right underneath our knees so we're gonna go into Savash now taking up some space on our mat and then just placing the bolster underneath our knees for comfort with our palms towards the ceiling, we're just gonna allow everything to stay still. And refocusing on your breathing. Letting go of any tension that is remaining in your body at the moment. Working on softening your neck, your jaw, shoulder blades and then scanning your body all the way down to your toes working on letting go of muscle contractions or tension bits by bits
invite you to open your eyes and slowly make your way up to the seated position on your own time. There is no rush here. So I hope you enjoyed today's class and thanks for joining me on the mat today. So if you like what I'm doing in the classes I provide to this channel, you can subscribe to my channel for support, share it with your friends and family members, or even donate to my PayPal account, which is always much appreciated for the efforts I put in. So I'm going to invite you to bring your palms to your heart closing your eyes and I want you for the rest of the week to really look at your life and let go of any situations or things that you're holding into that you can't control so let's take one big inhale and then let's release and conclude this class so until next time Namaste. Have a wonderful day. Bye.